actually, it's up in the air from one minute to the next. A Kentucky law on camping causing problems for homeless people. How emergency shelters are trying to help tonight. A local staff sergeant surprises family when he returned home from deployment. We're going to show you the heartwarming reunion. From the station that's always local, always now, this is Fox 19 Now at 10. The Safer Kentucky Act has been the law for about a month now. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Rob Williams. Trisha is off tonight. Now, the act outlaws camping on public or private property. Brady Williams joins us after talking with people at a local shelter about how it's affecting them. Yeah, so it's easy enough to hear the word camping and assume that means someone pitching a tent out in the woods. In this case, it's really focused on homeless people. It's focused on people sleeping on streets, bridges. It goes at great lengths to make sure that folks know you cannot sleep somewhere that is not designated for sleeping or camping. We're told that some homeless folks are going back and forth between Ohio because of this law. We're told it's brought to light a lot of different housing issues. In the state of Kentucky, our constitution requires an animal shelter taxpayer funded in all 120 counties. There is no statutes for human beings. Director of the Emergency Shelter of Northern Kentucky, Kim Webb, says they have limited resources. Oftentimes, their staff has to turn people away. They answer the phone 24-7, answer the door, and look at people in the eye and say, we don't have another option for you in Northern Kentucky. She says when they're not an option, all that's left is for many people to sleep outside. Folks like Frank. I'm more or less anywhere I can sleep. It's up in the air from one minute to the next. Beneath a sign placed by the county urging people not to give him money, we found him with his own sign that says, bet you can't hit me with a quarter. Hey, where you want head back? Right here on the sign. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, God bless you. They throw them at me all the time, and I'll, I'll pick them up, put them in my cup in my pocket, man. Right? It bounced off my chest or my face or whatever. Oh, well, I mean, what the hell? I mean, his life's what it is, man. Frank says he'll spend a whole day here with people happily throwing change at him. At night, he can't always find a bed. If he sleeps outside, new legislation means he could go to jail. The Safer Kentucky Act has been in place a little over a month now, and it bans camping in places not designated as campsites. For now, Webb says their clients have yet to be arrested. There's a lot of warnings and uh, a lot of reminders about moving on and you know that they need to clean up the encampments and just a lot of warnings. She says they just pick up and move to another location because there's nothing else they can do. Homelessness is not a poverty issue. Homelessness is a housing problem that requires a community solution. Webb explained that many of their clients have jobs, but not any that pay well enough. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, if you make minimum wage in Kentucky, you'd need to work 94 hours a week to afford a one bedroom rental home. And you have individuals who um, are trying to get out of that system and work. And, you know, it's becoming increasingly harder to do so. So folks can't afford a place to live. They might not have room at a shelter. And sooner or later, this new law will mean the only option is jail. The offense would be a class B misdemeanor, which could mean a fine they can't afford or up to 90 days in jail. I think there's a level of fear. They don't want to go to jail. They don't have the means in which to pay a fine or they don't want it on their record or they don't, um, they, that's not what they're looking for. She says even just warnings are disrupting basic sleep, which Frank says is a common issue. Harassing me ain't gonna get nothing done. There's, if I step down and not do this ever again, there'll be a thousand more people right behind me because they're trying to find what, what everybody else does. Frank says all he wants is a job and a place to sleep. If the only option available for him to rest his head at night means he's a criminal, he's not sure how it's ever going to make his life better. To actually take the time and make somebody turn around and so they could put their handcuffs on them and take them to jail just because they're homeless. Wow. They're going to have to find something better to do except to harass people for being homeless. 
So the Safer Kentucky Act does actually allow for designated encampment areas. However, it requires those to have access to toilets as well as hygiene products. Now, Kim Webb told us that she doesn't see how that's really feasible. As someone who actually runs a homeless shelter, she says it's difficult to store all of that in a situation like that. And she questions why it wouldn't just be easier to spend the money to build a proper shelter. Live in Covington alongside photojournalist Philip Krinsky, Brady Williams, Fox 19 Now. Brady, thank you very much.